Hello guys, thanks for watching, Adrian here from Mapsid. So in this video I want to just to say a few words about the uh, Django Material Dashboard, which is the, the latest product uh, provided by the team. So uh, the product comes with um, uh, the basic and uh, the default uh, authentication system uh, provided by, uh, by Django. Registration, um, the, the product can be used with uh, SQLite and uh, MySQL and the Postgres, the, the usual uh, database backends uh, for Django. Also, another thing that uh, might be important is that the design is, uh, is not hard-coded into the product. So, um, uh, the UI comes from, uh, from this library, which is also open source. So, uh, in case anyone uh, wants to, to style his uh, Django project uh, with uh, with this uh, UI, this can be easily done by uh, installing this theme and um, um, just follow up the instructions uh, listed here. So, uh, let's take a look at uh, at the video, uh, at the live demo, sorry. Okay. So the, the UI looks super, super nice. Uh, it's crafted by a creative team. We have here a, a dark mode, which uh, makes the application super nice. Uh, we have many options for the sidebar, notification page, RTL support. Um, okay. And also uh, the profile page looks nice in my opinion. Okay, if anyone um, uh, likes this, um, uh, the product can be used uh, based on the, permiss the permissive uh, MIT license. The, the code base can be used in commercial projects or simply for e-learning activities. Another cool feature that uh, comes with this, uh, starting from uh, from this uh, code base version, is the um, live deployment and um, uh, continuous integration, continuous deployment uh, on the render. So, uh, in other words, we can super easily deploy the the product to render without much effort. So, um, just to demonstrate this, I will. Uh, I will uh, deploy the product for the repository and deploy the product um, just by um, uh, without without uh, cloning the product in my local environment and um, just um, with uh, a super super minimal uh, interaction. Okay, so uh, let's uh, create a new repository. I will. Uh, Put here uh, a name for the repository. Once we for the repository, we need to edit uh, uh, a file, which is uh, this render YML, because uh, we need to um, rename the, the service. Here we have Django Material Dashboard, uh, and the product is already deployed under my under my account so uh, in this case I will just uh, rename the, the service just to have an, a unique name okay so basically I was uh, just uh, make a new fork and edit the render UIML which is the the file that uh, manages the continuous integration continuous de deployment on the render platform so uh, let me Create a new blueprint. Okay. Once we create a new blueprint, we need to uh, connect the Randall platform with the repository and uh, push the push the deployment. Once the, um, the platform accepts um, this, uh, this deployment, uh, we should be able to check out the compilation progress and uh, soon the product should be up and running using, uh, using render. For newcomers, uh, render deployment platform is a Heroku-like uh, software that uh, helps us to automate, automate the, the deployment. Uh, for 
different frameworks like uh, Django, Node.js, um, Flask, uh, FastAPI, and um, Go, and Ruby, and other super well-known uh, languages and, um, and frameworks. And um, also might be important to know that uh, AppSeed uses uh, Render as a deployment infrastructure. Um, we have um, we have here a live deployer. In case you have an account on AppSeed, you just need to drag and drop here your your repository, and uh, we are using Render in order to to push the product live. And um, this is uh, this step is fully automatized uh, by AppSeed. Okay, uh, so uh, let's check out the compilation progress. Uh, render tells us that the service is live. Okay, I will copy the the URL and uh, go here in order to check out the the UI. So this is the default um, default UI. We just uh, yeah, only the the dashboard is, is visible. Let's create a new a new user. Test at absit. Okay. So once we are authenticated, we can log out, change password, and uh, of course browse the pages, which uh, which are looking super super nice in my opinion. So guys, this is the product. Uh, as mentioned before, uh, the product is it's open source. We can use it in our projects. Um, in case um, you want more, there is a pro version here, which of course has more uh, <coughs> more um, uh, components, pages. Also, the the UI is uh, the, the product. The pro version is um, also deployed on render comes with the same features so we have a uh, continuous deployment continuous integration we have uh, docker support uh, the ui looks super nice and um, in case anyone have issues with the uh, open source version or pro, pro version um, feel free to um, access AppSeed. Uh, we have here the support link um, listed on homepage and uh, just feel free to chat with us using the um, uh, uh, coordinates support or um, uh, support at AppSeed or uh, simply go to discord and chat with us um, uh, using the um, using discord okay so guys thanks for watching again uh, Adrian here from AppSeed um, let us know what you think about the product, let us know uh, how, uh, how the code base can be improved and uh, in all cases we will assist. Thanks again for watching, Adrian here from Epsid and uh, as always I wish you all a super super day. Bye guys!